Okay, today we're going to be making a tanged arrow head with this round stock that we're going to forge into a... First we're going to forge the tang on this side here. Then we're going to add a shoulder, which we're going to do with this, which I'll just put over the picture hole. And then we'll forge the rest of it like you'd forge a leaf. Now I've heated it up in the forge, we're going to bring it down. You don't want to hammer too much one side. And you also want it to taper. Now you want a little bit more gradual tape than what I did. So we're gonna fix that now. This is the piece of iron, we're just testing it, it's not, we're not making out of steel because we know it's not going to be used in some battle. I'm satisfied with that. Yeah, that's fine. I was going to forge this small enough so we could fit it inside this. Like this, so we could uh, create a nice shoulder, but I don't really think it matters. I'm gonna cut it somewhere up here and then forge the rest. Okay. We're gonna forge it into square and then paper. And then basically, like you were forging a leaf. It's not going to be prettiest. And it's going to need some grinding. Oh no. No wonder. Come here and see 
to learn how we do stuff, how you port over here, this isn't the right place. But, we're learning at the same time as you guys. Okay. Again, I got a little bit too hot. Definitely wouldn't be the most aerodynamic ever. Or the prettiest, or the nicest, best quality, any of that. But I think once you put a tip on this, you can actually kill somebody with it. Okay, um, as you can see, we browned a little bit. It's not the prettiest, and it's a little bit, the shaft or the tang is a little bit to the side, but it will work, I think. But other than that, it's just iron. We use super quench on it. Took 20 minutes to forge. But you'd be able to see. It, it, Next time would probably be better, but this was our first time of making one and I think it came out very well. Give us your opinion, please.